What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another SDG Wednesday in the workshop. Today we are powder painting. As you can see, got the powder paint fluid beds out. And I wanted to share with you a quick tip on how to keep the paint out of the eye of the jig head, out of the uh, hook eye. Um, oftentimes when you're powder painting, if you don't take care of that eye in a specific way, you can get too much paint in there. And then if it cures, uh, as it cures, it gets it obviously gets really hard, and you have to take uh, oftentimes a drill bit to it, and then that powder paint, cured powder paint, will actually crack, and it looks awful, kind of ruins the jig head, and by that time, there's nothing really you can do about it. So what I did, I went to Amazon, and I found some heat shrink. I cut it up. It's one eight inch diameter. Comes in a roll like this. I mean, there's I don't know 30 meters. It's a lot. There's a. I mean, you can see in here and I cut it into these tiny little pieces. It's gonna last me forever and ever. Um, I get those cut up, I put them in a cup. I'll actually put the jig head after it's all sanded down and ready to go, it's cleaned up from the sprue. I'll put it in the, in the toaster oven here, let it heat up. And then as I'm getting ready to, to paint it, I'll pop it out, the head's already hot. I'll slide this onto the, onto the eye Put the eye in front of the heat gun for just a second just to shrink it and then dip it and i'm good to go um, once i'm done then i take it back out um, pop this off before i cure it if you if you put it on beforehand which i've tried putting it on the jig head the eye and then letting it heat up prior to painting um, i've also tried leaving it on the entire time and letting it cure with the paint in the in the toaster oven. Both of those certainly work, but this stuff gets really sticky. It, I mean, melts, it's really nasty and hard to get off. So what I have found is the best um, thing to do in between is to take the jig head out, pop it on right before you paint, go through the painting process. As it's cooling, before you put it into the toaster oven to cure, take it off and then cure. And what you're left with is a clean jig head eye, a hook eye that uh, doesn't have any sharp edges, right? If you take a drill bit to it or a file to it, you may get the hole big enough for the line and such, but oftentimes you'll have really sharp edges. This way you get those nice rounded edges on the hook eye, no risk to your line being cut and everything's nice and clean. So. Hopefully that helps. Check this out, it's like eight bucks on Amazon. It'll last me for years and years and years, cut up into the tiny little pieces. Heat shrink for your jig head eyes. Hope you enjoyed this tip. I'll see you next Wednesday.